Well, I'm uh, Steve Goodman. I'm co-director of the uh, Stanford Metrics Center. Metrics stands for the Meta Research Innovation Center at Stanford. And um, uh, it, I guess it's important to understand what meta research is to understand what metrics is. And me meta research is a fancy word for simply research on research. That is looking at research in the same way we examine closely all things we measure in science. And why would we want to measure research or, or look at research? It is because scientific research and its validity is so critical to, in a sense, everything we do. Um, and there's a lot of evidence that's been accumulating over the past 10, 20 years that, uh, that, that the research that appears generally, but particularly in the medical field, which will be our primary but not exclusive focus, um, isn't as informative as it should be. That is, there are a lot of studies that don't tell us very much, uh, and some studies that might even tell us the wrong thing. And of course, then there are those studies that are huge advances. And it's sometimes hard just by looking at a study, at a single study, to tell whether this is likely right or whether this is likely wrong. Just like it's very difficult to tell if you give somebody a medicine and they get better or they don't get better, whether it was due to that medicine. And the only way you can tell is you look, if you look at a lot of people, some of whom got the medicine, some of whom didn't. And it's the same thing with research. Sometimes it's very difficult to tell whether a method is misleading us unless we look at a lot of studies that use that method and try to figure out, are they misleading us collectively, which sometimes we can tell. Although the word hasn't, is not very familiar, there are actually many scientists who've been working in this area for the past 20 or 30 years. Many people are concerned about making sure that the science we produce is the best we can do with the resources that we have. But they operate separately. They're all over the world. And it's not really recognized as a formal discipline. And the, the work of all these scientists is not as efficient as it could be itself. So one of the goals of the center is to set up a formal program of study to bring together the best minds, both here at Stanford, in our faculty, in our students, and for the first time, really, bring together scientists from all over the world who are studying these issues and trying to come up with better ways to do science or report science or um, publish science um, to improve the total body of um, scientific research. Ultimately, of course, the reason we're doing this is because, particularly in medicine, people's lives depend on it. Uh, the evidence that's produced in scientific studies is the evidence that doctors use to decide what treatments they give, uh, what treatments they don't give. Um, and it's absolutely critical that the evidence base be as reliable as it possibly can be. So I would say the real motivation for the center is for those patients and providers uh, who want to make sure that uh, in any healthcare setting, or in fact in any setting where research results make a difference in people's lives, that the evidence they're using is the right evidence.